Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of our book club and today is secret number 34 and it's called Crystal Girl. Now we're going to talk about, you know, uh, emotions, you know, being very sensitive. Let's see what this has to do with you and I. Now there was a story, uh, probably you are familiar with this story, uh, about two sisters, Martha and Mary, and they were receiving Jesus in their home, at their home, with the, you know, with other guests like the disciples. And imagine, they were busy. But Martha was busy and Mary was sitting down, listening to Jesus, because he would teach every time he would go um, to people's homes and, you know, uh, amongst the crowds. So she wanted to know what he, he was saying. So look, look what the Bible says. Martha was tired. Actually, uh, this is the author. Martha was tired. She had guests in her house and Mary was right there sitting down and not offering to help. She could not hold back any longer and complained to Jesus. Lord, send her here to help me, Martha said. Look at the answer Jesus gave her. He said, Martha, Martha, your sister chose the best part and it will not be taken away from her. It will not be taken from her. And then at another time, uh, Jesus spoke to his mother like this. Oh woman, what have you to do with me? Then the author says, one day Jesus was teaching his disciples that he would be rejected, would suffer a lot and would be killed. But three days later, he would rise from the dead. Peter, in his innocence, and I believe in his aim to please Jesus, said that he would never let that happen. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Get behind me, Satan. Ouch. <laughs> so let's focus on Jesus' answers to people in different circumstances, okay? Uh, then, then the author goes on saying, I now want to ask you to place yourself in these people's shoes and imagine how you would feel if you were one of them. I can just see it now. You know, uh, she put a little um, uh, sniff kind of crying uh, emoji. Jesus called me Satan in front of everybody. Maybe Peter would think that. It is unfair. Jesus let Mary sit down while I was doing everything Martha could have thought. I was so ashamed. Mary will never help me with the chores anymore because Jesus said what he said. So maybe Mary will not help her anymore as, as, as she would. Okay. So if you have the book, this is why it's so important you get your hands on this book. Okay. And then the one we are going to be reading very soon because then you can follow my reading and it will make a lot of sense. Okay. Um, Let's continue. Like I said, today we have a bit of reading to do, but look what the author says. Dear friend, if there is anything that the Lord Jesus is trying to teach us through these examples, is that we should not be too emotional. Imagine if Peter, Martha and Mary had felt offended and hurt because of the way the Lord Jesus had spoken to them in front of everybody. Many times we use our feelings and become too emotional and therefore more susceptible to hold on to bad feelings. We are like crystal and anything and anything bad that someone says to us is enough to break us. She says, this is not the faith that the Lord Jesus teaches us. Many times you think the Lord Jesus would never speak to me like this. Are you sure? Dear friends, how many times are we resentful? when we are rebuked slash corrected. How many times are we sad because of something that someone said about us? Enough, this has to end. I am not saying that it's easy or that you won't feel anything, not at all. I am saying we need to be attentive, pray more and persevere in prayer when something like this happens. So something happens to you, you got some feedback that you were not expecting. And now you feel down, you are low because of that. The faith that we learn from the Word of God is to be more rational. Keep emotions where they belong. 
but don't let emotions hold you back, okay? When we start thinking uh, things like, who is she to talk to me like that? Whoa, I didn't deserve to be treated that way. What did I do to deserve that? My God, look at what she said about me. We need to tell ourselves off, the author says, because feeding these thoughts will not help us. It will only make things worse. If something like this happens, inspect your thoughts and get rid of them. Examine yourself. Ask what it could be that the Lord wants to teach you. What is my mistake? What can I do to change that? What can I do so that this never happens again? So these are questions we should ask ourselves instead of, um, you know, um, feeling so low and, and so angry and upset. If someone hurts you without a cause, pray for that person in a positive manner so that the Lord Jesus may bless her. I also advise you not to be distant from her, but to get closer to her and prove her wrong. Good point. This will obviously depend on the situation, as there are very harsh people and the best thing to do is to keep your distance, which, you know, with a clean heart and no resentment, okay? There, there will be situations where, yes, you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't stick around like they say, but you shouldn't keep resentment either, okay? Because that's not good, that's called a grudge. Now, what are we saying here today? That just like in the biblical times, we read so many stories, real stories. Imagine Mary, the mother of Jesus. Um, she was asking and worried about him. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. He was in the temple. He was at the temple, um, you know, with everyone else. And then his mother didn't know. So when she asked, let's read again what Jesus said. Oh, woman. What have you to do with me? Now, physically speaking, of course, she had something to do with him. She, she bore him, right? Physically speaking. It was through the Holy Spirit, but she was the one that physically bore him and, and brought him up, you know, as a child growing up and all that. But when it comes to God, when, when he tells us something, when he uses a spiritual authority to correct us, to teach us something, then you have to think about it in a spiritual way. In, in other words, it's for your own good. It's because you are maybe going astray or maybe you've lost the understanding of the spiritual things. For example, with the example of the mother of Jesus, it sounds harsh. It's as if she forgot what the angel had said to her before she got pregnant with Jesus, that he is the son of God. He's not her child. <laughs> she had other children later, you know, but he was different. He was special. So let him, you know, he was born, let him be, let him go about his mission. So he grew up like any other child. The Bible talks about it. But when his time came to begin him his ministry, then as Mary, you know, as the mother, inverted commas, you have to remember what the angel said, said to her. She had to remember back when she was still um, not with, you know, not pregnant of Jesus, that he, would, he, he was here on a mission and she would carry him in her womb. So she, he wasn't there to be like a normal son. You know, obviously he was very um, attracted to everything to do with the Word of God, teaching, healing people, listening to people's problems, spending long hours out there with crowds, teaching them, casting out evil spirits from them, healing the sick. So she couldn't expect the same from him that she would from the other children she had. So that's why Jesus spoke to her like that. In, in other words, why are you, are you so worried about me? Don't you know I came to do my Father's will? So there is always a spiritual reason. So maybe you attend the VYG and then you have your pastor there who tells you, you know, listen, you are going astray. Look at you, look at the things you're doing. And then you take it personally. 
You think someone is trying to control your life? Or someone is telling you what to do? For example, this book reading that we're doing. We are not telling you what to do or how to be. This is a suggestion based on the Word of God. And it's up to you to make your choice. But do you feel hurt? Do you feel emotional about certain things that you hear? Then you don't understand the spiritual side of things that God is taking care of you. He's trying to protect you from yourself. Okay, so bear in mind, okay, before you get angry or sad, ask yourself, hold on a second, why am I so upset? I quite deserved what I heard, isn't it? So, and, and if it was not fair, so let it slide. People are not perfect, but don't be like crystal. Because you see, what happens to people that are very sensitive is that they get stuck in time. They don't move on. Everyone else, especially the person who hurt her feelings, moved on, doesn't even remember anything. But the, the person who feels hurt is still there in that same place that she was when that happened. She's holding on to that. Years have gone by. Many opportunities were lost because of that, that grudge, of that emotion, that negative emotion, okay? So let's have a look at task number 34. Let's have a look. Don't be a crystal girl full of resentments or easily hurt. We have to be a hard nut to crack for the devil. You know what that means? Don't be sensitive. Women who pray should be sensitive to God's voice, but insensitive to the devil's voice and to provocations, which means when you have this spiritual understanding that it is the devil, yes, I'm using that word, it is the devil who is behind situations that want to keep you, um, you know, hold, that want to make you hold a grudge, resentment, and say, oh, I don't ever want to go there anymore. I don't ever want to talk to this person anymore. I will never do this again, blah, 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 blah. It's pride. You see, behind sensitivity is pride. Because yes, we are wrong many times. And then what's the problem? We learn and we move on. But we don't like to be corrected. It's human nature. And this is why we are talking about this today. For you to remember, be aware. Every time you feel hurt, know that you have two choices to understand what happened and move on or pray about it or keep a grudge and be stuck in time for as long as you keep that grudge. Okay, well, I hope this helped you. Remember, be a prayerful person. Okay, when you talk to God more, when you develop this communication with Him, you become more aware of things and you will be a lot less sensitive. That's all for now. If you have any questions, get in touch with us. Remember to share. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.